Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing the same product test as we did uh, a couple days ago. We used the Chem Dip. Let me see if I can find the jug. This chemical cleaner, parts cleaner, that uh, can be used with automotive parts, especially to take off built up carbon. Uh, if you saw our last video, we got our pistons. It was actually for a different motor, but I also did it to this one. Our pistons looking brand new. These were super built up on carbon, and they look absolutely brand new right now. Today, we are working on this F22 motor. We're doing a full rebuild on it, and I know the garage is a mess right now. But if you come over to this side, I've got the top of the combustion chamber, the area where the dome of the piston would uh, meet the head, and I've got it clean, being cleaned right now. If you see right here, this is how it looks before the cleaning. And I've got these topped off with the chem dip solution. I just sealed it with the spark plugs. You can see I left them in right there. And this is my first time trying it, so I'm also gonna be learning off of this experience as well. Hopefully we can uh, both get some cool tricks off of this experiment. I've got it full, basically a puddle of it. And as I did in my last video, I left the piston soaking for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Um, the chem dip instructions itself specifies to keep aluminum soaked for under four hours. I'm not exactly sure 100% on the reason why. I am assuming that it would have to do something with a coating taken up, being taken off of the aluminum or something of a similar nature. But we're just gonna leave this to soak about an hour or two. And so like I said, we're gonna leave this full for, I'm about to fill this one up right now and leave it full for about an hour or two. And once it's done, let's see if the carbon just comes off on uh, like it did with the pistons. Here's that chem dip solution, got it into a little dish. I'm just gonna pour that right into the top of the combustion chamber. And a little seeping amount, doesn't hurt. And a little pan underneath, as well as two buckets just to hold it up. I want this to keep as level as possible, that way the chem dip doesn't get one side and not the other. Pretty self-explanatory. But we're gonna maybe clean off a little bit right here. In the meanwhile, the head gasket surf surface needs to be cleaned before we can install it onto the new motor. We're also gonna be doing valve seals for this, but I'm not gonna include that in this video. Uh, possibly I'll make a separate video for that. But we're gonna leave this and I'll see it, uh, see the results with you in just a few seconds after a couple hours. About an hour in, I'm just gonna go in and lightly scrub the insides. I don't wanna lose too much fluid with a little toothbrush. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just right there, you can already see the color returning to nice bright aluminum, and we haven't even done the full time yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this on our cylinders, all of them. That way, if the big chunks are loose, they can come off, and the liquid can do its magic on smaller stuff beneath the big chunks. There we go, everything's all scrubbed down. You can see almost every portion of this much cleaner. This one right here has a little bit of a bigger chunk, but we'll probably just uh, let that soak a bit more and then come back to it. Okay, I just got done getting rid of the fluid. Just put it into that tub right there. Um, right off the bat, you can see just by wiping what, uh, what the chemical did, it's already coming out much cleaner than it was before. And you can see a little bit right here. Not so easy to come off, but I'm sure if you put a little more liquid and just use a little toothbrush like we were working on earlier, stuff will come right out. It seems like it almost makes it the carbon itself into a paste since it dissolves it. And it's a really good chemical. You can see even on the valves how much it cleaned. There's almost no carbon buildup on this valve, and I'm sure if I clean the other valve, same thing. Yeah, that one's getting super clean. Half of here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Let me just put this on pause. Okay, I've gone ahead and used a little toothbrush right over there. And you can see that uh, I get the rest of the carbon built up off. You can see a little bit of the valve has been left with some carbon, I guess you could say. Uh, primarily the exhaust valves but there's almost no carbon buildup within these cylinders and that's a, a really good sight, you know? Especially if you're putting together a new motor, you wanna make sure that everything's, or a rebuilt motor, you wanna make sure everything's nice and clean. These nice pistons from that same chemical. 
everything seems to be cleaning up very well. Uh, make sure to check out the other videos if you're doing work on Hondas or any other engine you want to kind of have the how it works behind it. In my next video I should be taking out the valve showing you how to do that and I think I'll also be doing the valve seals either today or tomorrow. Yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment below. And make sure to hit that like button because we really like to have those likes. Okay, guys, thank you very much.